The Bible describes various judgments in Scripture. For example, there is the judgment of the nations in Matthew chapter 25. There is the judgment of the ten virgins, the wise and the unwise, signifying the saved and the lost Jews of the tribulation period. We have the judgment of the sheep and goats in Matthew 25, signifying the saved and the lost Gentiles in the tribulation period. We also have the judgment of believers at the Bema seat of Christ. What is a Bema? A Bema is an elevated platform in Jewish synagogues where it is used for Torah reading during services on the Shabbat or Sabbath. At Caesarea, located on Israel's Mediterranean coast, the ruins there show an elevated beamer where the procurators pronounced judgment 2,000 years ago. The Bible describes the judgment seat of Christ in Romans 14.10 and Romans 14.12. Verses 10 and 12 tell us, But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. We also read in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 11 through 15. For other foundation can no man lay, than that is laid which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man lay upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. You see, it's all about reward at the Bema. Then he says, If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. That is not loss of salvation. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Remember, it's all about reward at the Bema seat. The suffering of loss is not the loss of salvation, but loss of reward. The context here is about rewards. We also read in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that which he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Only believers will be at the Bema seat. The purpose of the judgment seat of Christ is to determine reward. It has nothing to do with our sin because our sins were judged at the cross. Our salvation is sealed unto the day of redemption according to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse number 30. The Bible describes five different crowns one can obtain at the beam of the judgment seat of Christ. The first one is the incorruptible crown. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 and 25, bringing our bodies into subjection to the Lord. The second one is a crown of rejoicing. In 1 Thessalonians 2, 19, for winning souls. The third crown is a crown of life. James 1, 12, for overcoming temptation and martyrdom, losing one's life because of their faith. Revelation chapter 2 and verse number 10. The fourth crown is a crown of glory. 1 Peter 5, 4, for those who teach God's people His Word, especially pastors, missionaries, evangelists, Sunday school teachers, and five, a crown of righteousness, 2 Timothy 4, 7, and 8, for those who long and desire for Jesus' soon return. What we do today determines what reward we get at the Bema seat. We must make sure that our motives are pure and not for man-pleasing or for recognition. Either our motives are gold, silver, and precious stone, or they are wood, hay, and stubble.